Lotus, the iconic British sports car manufacturer, has done something awesome. It all happened at the Monterey Car Week of this year, where Lotus unveiled the Lotus Type 66, a track-focused masterpiece that brings back to life a forgotten gem from the brand's storied past. This enigmatic vehicle has not only reignited the spirit of a lost project, but has also merged classic Lotus design with state-of-the-art racing technology, a true embodiment of the brand's legacy. Intriguingly, the Type 66 has its roots deep in the annals of Lotus's history. Founded in 1948, the brand has perpetually been synonymous with racing prowess and cutting-edge engineering. The Type 66 pays tribute to a prototype design born in 1966 through the creative genius of Jeff Ferris, a dedicated draftsman from Team Lotus, conceived at the behest of the visionary founder Colin Chapman. The prototype was intended for a resounding entry into the 1970s Can-Am series. Fate, however, had different plans, as Chapman's intense focus remained on Formula 1 competitions. The original project remained confined to intricate technical drawings and scale models, an unrealized dream encapsulated within blueprints. Today, the Type 66 emerges as a modern reinterpretation of Chapman's vision blending the elegance of classic Lotus aesthetics with the cutting-edge performance capabilities of contemporary racing technology. In a dazzling moment of automotive artistry, the curtain was lifted on the Lotus Type 66 at the illustrious 2023 Monterey Car Week in California, USA. The prestigious venue of The Quail, a motorsport gathering, bore witness to this reveal. The Type 66 stands as a pinnacle of Lotus engineering, destined to become one of the most exclusive offerings in the brand's history. Limited to a mere 10 units, each adorned with a rumored price tag exceeding a million pounds. The Type 66 is said to be an unequivocal collector's item. Now the unveiling of this car was emotional, as the car was unveiled by Clive Chapman, the son of Colin Chapman, and the managing director of Classic Team Lotus, a moment that bridges generations and honors the past while propelling Lotus into the future. Now, this car has some history, or let me say the development of this car, as it was never actually made before now. You see, the Type 66's emergence traces back to, to the thrilling Canadian-American Challenge Cup, more famously known as KM. This motorsport saga, spanning from 1966 to 1987, showcased unprecedented racing marvels, defined by boundless innovation and raw power. Can-Am unleashed unbridled creativity where rules were merely suggested guidelines and horsepower figures soared to mythical heights. While Can-Am showcased luminaries like McLaren, Andretti and Hill, Lotus remained conspicuously absent as the brand dominated other racing genres, particularly Formula One. However, Colin Chapman's unquenchable thirst for conquest spurred him to explore the uncharted territory of Can-Am. In 1970, he commissioned Jeff Ferris to birth a prototype for a Group 7 racer, a car that could have borne the designation of the Lotus Type 66. The sketches illustrated a sleek, aerodynamically crafted wonder, equipped with a mid-mounted V8 power plant and a full-width rear wing. Yet, destiny intervened and the project's life remained confined to a paper, a dormant idea that endured a hiatus of more than five decades. Unearthing the buried treasure of the Lotus Type 66 required a stroke of luck. Clive Chapman, the custodian of Lotus's legacy and the managing director of Classic Team Lotus, stumbled upon a trove of microfilm containing the original concept. This cache of history, meticulously preserved, resided within a fireproof chamber containing the sketches and images that paved the way for a resurrection. This is such a cool story. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting goosebumps. Sorry, let's continue. More than 50 years after its conception, Clive Chapman's devotion to his father's legacy brought the Lotus Type 66 to life. The reinterpretation of this timeless design was crafted through a melding of classic sketches and cutting-edge computer technology, a process that breathed new life into a dream long shelved. The modern engineering made heritage design as the Lotus Type 66 morphed from drawings to a tangible masterpiece, Meticulously digitized sketches received a contemporary update aligning the car with modern safety standards and performance expectations. The outcome is a symphony of carbon fiber, aerodynamics, and mechanical prowess. 
that encapsulates the essence of Lotus's past and its aspirations of the future. Enhanced with a mid-mounted V8 engine tuned to generate over 830 horsepower, the Type 66 emerges. The trumpet air intake system perched atop the engine optimizes airflow for superior combustion efficiency and the sound this thing must produce. I can only imagine. So let's end this off. The Lotus Type 66 epitomizes the spirit of Lotus, where heritage and innovation intertwine to create automotive legends. This masterpiece arising from the cradle of history and nurtured by modern engineering prowess stands as a monument to Colin Chapman's visionary legacy. The melding of generations represented by Colin Chapman and Clive Chapman resulted in a project that speaks to both the past and the future of Lotus. Unfortunately, cars like this are dying out. Even Lotus, the company behind the car, is more focused on switching everything over to electric than producing cars that their fans would actually love. Except now for the Type 66. The Type 66 is awesome, and I love that they actually built this thing. But what do you guys think of the story? And do you guys think this car is worth the massive price tag? I actually do. With less than 10 being made, and this being such a crazy special car, I do think it's worth every penny. But let me know down below what you guys thought. If you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you must probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.